Hive Mind Network Online, Channel 0093. Secure uplink initiated. Spoon Lord uh, from Discord, and uh, you may know me also as Pathly New on uh, 19.4. And we're here tonight uh, for um, a special occasion, well, a special, let's say, Twitch this week. Uh, it's nostalgia, it's Throwback Thursday actually. Uh, We're back Thursday indeed. We're gonna do a little bit of time traveling. Exactly. Yeah. We're so gonna, gonna take a look at how the game has changed since its early origins. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna take a blast from the past and we're gonna look at uh, how much the game has progressed since the first alpha that I have currently opened. And uh, as you can see, the first thing that was written on it was Welcome to the Beta. And uh, oh god, were we wrong? <laughs> because we were not uh, close beta. to having a beta. <laughs> but hey, you know, stuff changes through time. And uh, as you can already see, we we change like the the whole game uh, according to the player's comments. Uh, because that first version was made like with only like us designing it with no input from the players. And since then, the the next alpha versions. Uh, were changed because of your comments, basically. And we were aiming toward a more realistic approach. Uh, and in this version, it's not really <laughs> realistic at all how you proceed. It's your fun. It's yeah. it's fun in its own way. Yeah, exactly. It has its its own way to be fun. Uh, so and uh, just to be clear, I really didn't play a lot of this version so I'm gonna have Codex here uh, helping me uh, to get to not play it completely but you know, just to navigate a bit That's through like yeah. get a good general idea so let's start this and this is a mission center which is um, well another thing you know it's not the same Pretty different. <laughs> it's a bit different it's if you uh, click the um, the new mission envelope, it actually opens up the actual mission center instead of the map. Yeah, and uh, and just uh, if you look at the background when you move your mouse, it's, you, you get like that 3D effect thing, which is kind of cool. I just like I just saw that, so I'm clicking on the new mission, and this is mission center, and there is someone talking. I don't know if that's the same. Voiceover. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's the same voiceover as Faye. I, I know it's a lady. I don't. I just don't know who. Like. It's been like generated. I don't think it was even like. A person. Oh, maybe, maybe. I really don't like know a lot about that time. I wasn't there yet. I was more. Yeah. I was more. Uh, I came on when the alpha, when the second alpha was made, and I, I worked on all the new cool stuff. And so, I have to bounce through a proxy note to anonymize your computer network. That okay. So here we have our terminal, and uh, right now all your modules are separated. But here we have like a more standard terminal where you can do pretty much all your commands in one place. And uh, I won't. Uh, I can't say that we'll never have something like that like a master module that you can type all the commands and don't have to switch between modules um, but like we really like reimagine how like your your uh, your hack would be made with uh, splitting the mod the, the hack into different modules instead of having one module. it's a lot multitask when you have more than one window to work with yeah of the game it's very very linear and really do one thing at a time exactly and it's what is in real life exactly and i don't even know like how to start i'll say help and look at all these commands that we don't have anymore basically i think what i understand is a stinger os pretty much like does a lot of that that like uh, a lot of those commands automatically for you so you don't have to like like Xenos like, is supposed to be a super powerful OS right so it makes sense that you don't have to navigate through a standard Linux uh, interface uh, but let's say I don't even like help um, <laughs> do you know <laughs> do you know what uh, um, bounce so go go to the map I go to the map. 
go to the map. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, like, I really didn't play a lot <laughs> of, on, on that version. I understand. So, I understand that. And this, I don't know, but I tried uplink, and this makes me feel like more of an uplink thing. So. Yeah way different feel than the current game. Exactly. Uh, do, I, uh, do I need to bounce on that IP? Yeah, bounce through the proxy. Oh, the proxy, yeah, sorry. Okay, now I'm, I'm bounced. And then I... Uh, do I... Can I infect already? Oh. Well, there's a firewall, so yeah. you have to, like... First, you have to connect to it, I think. Connect? Okay. No. Oh. Can't see what I'm doing. Okay. No, no, I can't. It's predated, you know. If you scroll up, it like. Uh, sorry? It's just confusing. Oh, you have to use the firewall. Oh, do I have a firewall command? No. So, exploit firewall. Exploit. Oh, yeah. Figures. So this was the little mini game that we had <laughs> inside of the game. Exactly. As you can see, this is not like. Th this is not how you hack a firewall. This That's is. Not yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work like that in real life. It would be great though. Like imagine like a big. Uh, if you would like robber your way into real file systems. <laughs> yeah. Imagine like you would have like a huge firewall and you would have like a big frogger game that you need to complete in order to hack the firewall. And that's one of the things we remove. Um, I, th I think mini games are cool, but it shouldn't be in the main mechanic, you know? Like this should have been maybe a, m a mini game that's not like trying to represent how you hack a, a firewall. That's the problem. So I just bypass this, now I go to my target. Wow. I am a real hacker. So now do I, con I can connect, I guess? The exploit was uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's dramatic. Exactly, that's how you do it, and I, I think that it, like that's one of the things I I want to do, like eventually, like maybe have a, a, a mini game kind of thing and and one section that's like separated uh, from the rest of the game, like more of an Easter egg, uh, because I think mini games are, are fun and you know to pass time where while well, you're doing your password attack. But like this is like, let's say you're trying to do a fox acid attack, and instead of uploading something, you're just having a mini game that you have to complete. This is what we we really uh, really like remove from the game because, like I said, we really try to have a more realistic approach. Some things got kept the same. Like you'll see, we still have the sort of objectives that are lined up in the mission center. It still tells you every time you complete an objective. So, progression mechanics are really similar and have stayed the same. Mm -hmm. Other stuff changed. So, um, oh, let's just finish this, let's say. Can I scan? I'm, I'm in there, so let's scan. You have to, um, you have to list everything. A list. So just LS. LS. Oh, so then I need to like CD. LS. LS, yeah, that's what I did. LS. I have to move through the different yeah. files and, I and look for the, uh, the file. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe. We were like really digging into the whole, you know, this is a Black Watchmen universe game a lot more than before. Yeah, exactly. Um, how do I, like, uh, I'm also a complete, uh, I'm really horrible on Linux, I haven't used it a lot yet, um, so, that's why I'm a, like, I know the- I'm pretty <laughs> sure it should be in the documents. Here, yeah. scroll back down. Yeah, like, I have here, um, I have CD documents? Like, I mean, I'm supposed to yeah, be- Yeah, when- no, you have to you have to use ls to list things that are in a folder. Oh yeah, no, no. Oh, I I, I wrote the list again. Yeah, that's that's how good I am. Into there. There you go. And I guess you know I guess Black Watchmen. 
I guess one of them. Oh, so and now do I? How do I, I need to destroy? How do I destroy? And um, D E L for delete. Mm. In fact, no. Oh, R M. R M. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's R M. True. Uh, oh. Oh yeah. Well, I completed my first mission, and we had currency and yeah, experience. We had this like currency monetary thing going on. And like, very strange. And I can't like I won't say like that we won't have that. I know they were w like at one point we thought it would be cool to have some cryptocurrency in the game and we thought it would be cool to have some kind of leveling system or some kind of another that's one of the things we, we really want to have like we'll, we'll try to have in game we just have to i guess game design it to know like how we approach it uh but definitely if we could have like some cryptocurrency in game, that would be great uh, i don't know if it, it'll be there in in the release i don't know if it'll be there uh, yeah, I think we still have to we have to think on it a while more because I know that there was some uh, there was some talks about that, and uh, I think that's pretty much it that I wanted to uh, see for uh, that demo because I think that th the only other cool thing that I wanted to show was the um, the uh, strike team that's uh, not currently in the game and yeah I, I think in um they're in this version but i don't think it's until no maybe it's maybe not. um like i but yeah we don't really want to like do a complete watch with that beta of that alpha <laughs> excuse me uh, yeah, but like pre-alpha yeah pre-alpha we don't want to do a complete run uh, but let's say that the, the strike team part was really cool and like I'm sure that eventually we'll get there uh, to make it in the, in, in the current version of the game but when will it be I have uh, sincerely no idea about that I don't know when will uh, we really have to also game design it properly uh, so it will fit the, the new world that 19.4 has so there's a lot of thing about there's a lot of things that we still want to do um but uh yeah in that version you had uh, the strike team for those who don't know what the strike team is i think you can see it in the on the trailer and the kickstarter uh, page of 194 uh, there was a section that you could like choose your troops and like l hate a, a real troop uh, on the on the ground uh, while you're hacking stuff that was basically the idea, um, but yeah, it's, it's a, it has been removed since then from this version. And like, if we would implement it again, and uh, I'm sure we will eventually, but we n we need to like, you know, think really about how we can be great and fun in the current game. So I'm gonna the other part that I wanted to show you guys to revisit, let's say, is. Um, it's, uh, let's see what's the older uh, well the not the earlier alpha let's say the not so old version of the game shut up and uh, just let me open up well okay great so it it hasn't been that long since that version, but we still wanted to point out like the the major differences that we had it's since it's then. Still some stuff. There's a lot of stuff uh, that has changed since that version, and uh, it's like the game completely changed in the, in the like in the current in the last few months, and I think it's just great to see how much the game has changed and how much like we really listen to. Uh, the, the people that played our game during the playtest, your com uh, your comments, uh, everyone thought about the game. We really tried to have a melting pot of all those ideas and try to get the 
the best out of it and try to really optimize our game so it's better than uh, ever. You know, there's there's been stuff that we've done that maybe wasn't the right choice at the time, but the nice thing about being with closed beta and having the relationship we do with our community is we can step back and say, you know, maybe we should do something else with it. And we're flexible enough that we can do that. Exactly. Which is super cool. And we're really glad to have uh, such a great community that's really there to, like, just pinpoint out when when we do something and you you guys are not sure, you can tell us and we can always look into it. You see, like, let's say a bug, if you see cool stuff, if you see things that you're really glad we added and you would say, oh, guys, thanks for adding that. That's really great. We just love all the feedback. Exactly. We just, we, like, we want all the feedback. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, 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 we are uh, feedback hungry. We really like uh, constructive feedback. That's how, I think that's how we'll make a really cool game. And uh, as you can see, this was the old mission center. Like, I think it, sort of. it, it pales in comparison of what we have right now. And I think that's not even a, a competition or whatsoever. That mission center is, uh, the new mission center is really, really cool compared Although to... Although I did really like how we would encourage people to do Meltego graphs back in these versions of the game. And I think way of, uh, uh, yeah. that's of true. doing things even now. Yeah, that's true. The Meltego integrations a lot. Although the tool, it's not going to be useful for everyone. Um, it still is... Great to have it. Yeah. And maybe we'll find a way to reintegrate those Meltego graphs. Even, and, even and if it's not integrated in the game, I think it's a cool thing for players to do in general and to have in general. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, maybe like I said, that it could be, but like... I I don't know like if we'll ever have that in the game again, but you know it's just cool to know hint, that it's hint, it's nice touch to the players. It's useful for keeping track of things. Exactly. <laughs> um. So, and you had your uh, like let's say that that those were your hints when you were really lost. Had like a hint system. Exactly, and our, uh, and the first time you're playing, like when when we add that alpha version, we're trying to have new people playing it. And just this as your hints were really, really hard for people to know what they had, what the hell they had to do. <laughs> they were really, uh, a lot of people were, well, us because they never touched a hacking game before. And we didn't really have a, a tutorial system to guide them a, a little bit more. So I think that in this version, it's not that bad since we have like those icons that flash. But in, in one version, we didn't add anything except this and then you started your mission and you didn't add Dylan or anything and that was that was it you know? because, sink or swim. I, because this is not a mission of uh, this is not like new stream live mission this is news leak that was the first mission that I tried when I tried 194 uh, for the first time and it can be a lot complicated for someone that never like, touched a hacking game Itch. but you st we still had the firewall that uh, we, it's still there. We just need to revise a bit how it's working because we don't want to uh, people get uh, banned from things every time they do a fingerprint. This isn't even like the oldest build of the alpha. I don't or the yeah, it is the alpha. It is the alpha. It's just not the oldest build. This is like the latest build of the alpha. Just yeah. So we sort of skipped a couple things, but. It's so cool. You can still see that you know it's a lot different. It's yeah, the old agent profile. Yeah, that with the experience there, you know, there's like there's like traces of the past right there. We still I think that we want some kind of experience, some kind of progress, but we're not sure if like will it be experience, will it be something else? Uh, we have no idea. You didn't. Add time will tell. Exactly, and we don't have we don't have the icon. We don't have anything this is pretty the tools menu exactly this i, I want to no i want to show it's like the worst thing <laughs> <laughs> the tools 
hacking tools. The hacking tools. Because it's like every sub menu with exactly crazy. We kind of reorganize a bit how the UI was because that was a lot of intimated. Like new players, they come in there, uh, they don't have any clue what they're doing. They click on that. And they're like, uh, oh, okay. It was super confusing. And oh, no we're looking at the alpha because we are sort of looking at old versions of the game and talking about sort of how it's changed. Exactly. Just a, Probably. just a, because we're for this week, uh, we're currently like upgrading a lot of stuff and we're preparing some new cool stuff, and uh, we didn't want we want to have maybe a bigger Twitch for uh, the the next weeks. Uh, with n a lot of stuff to show, so this week we're like it's more of a like throwback for uh, for this week. We just wanted to discuss a bit of how the game changed and how much I think we've achieved since then. And uh, so there you go. You have like your uh, your acting tools, and like you, you just didn't know which one to start with. You know, Every, like it was all there, everything was everywhere, and you're like, what do I do? Help me. Is this one still have the old X key score? Does it have the new one? Uh, let me look. Oh yes. It's number six. Yes, exactly. That is <laughs> the old XC score. That this uh, thing was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was one of the b bigger modules that we made. It was kind of hard to m do at first. And I think that the the player feedback has really been. Um, sort of redefining this module and getting it to the totally different thing that it is today. I think. Oh, is that? Oh, that's kind of that's kind of funny. It shows like it it it's it shows like my current beta entities, Senator Raymond Smith. That's that's kind of funny. The same stuff, I think. Yeah, well, it comes from the same database, so it, it's like, it's nothing new, but it's kind of funny that it's, it's there, you know. And, <laughs> you know, origin <laughs> originally, uh, we're supposed to have, like, levels, like those stripes on, on those triangles. There's, there were supposed to be, um, like, levels. Like, those are three-level component, and those are one-level component entities. So, there was that was a thing. And the other thing is that uh, the first version of uh, XC Score Forensic, when you would click on an entity, and that I think that was never in the actual game, or maybe like the first time XC Score was there and then was never there again, uh, but you could click on double click on an entity, and it would open a new window with all the entity's information. Oh. Yeah, we had that at, at one point. I could try to find some. I, I think I have some screenshots of it, or maybe a an I old build. And yeah, you you could click double click on. Let's say it was there. I think it was there during like the first time we released new stream live. Uh, but you could double click on let's say Laura Walker, and you would see like, uh, like how, like she was related to a lot of factors like you know finance and, and um, like her license and blah 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 a lot of information on each entity which was i think pretty cool but it was kind of like not obvious how to get there and yeah that's why we just thought why not not have it for now and you know now we have the new ac entity that looks a lot different from this let's say if, if we try to and, and, stuff. <laughs> and yeah when you would put two entities you would have this like this this uh, data filling up, and then when you add it right, it would appear like this. I, r I always like that kind of animation between like yeah, it was a cool animation. I know. I liked it since the first day I, I, I did it, and uh, we click, and that was pretty much it. For now, like we didn't add. There was some things planned for this like window. Uh, like, like, like you uh, couldn't even move the intel outside of the X key score window. No, it was exactly. all together. Exactly, it was all there. You had to close it. And there you go, and you could, like, we're supposed to like have some data appearing, 
like if you are you would have some like special info or whatsoever um but like as you can see it never really happened it was like let's say the alpha version of hexy's core in the alpha version of the game and uh like there was there were like it, it, it's a special kind of design i always thought it was kind of cool looking just like that but in terms of ux in terms yeah, of but it wasn't really user friendly yeah, yeah like exactly the, the visual design was cool but players had a really hard time knowing what to do with it yeah we had a lot of players arriving at that point and just not knowing what to do it would be like uh okay you, you would play menu overload at this point we had just menus of menus with some more menus on the side <laughs> <laughs> exactly like we, we would have we should add like a tutorial for each section of this one but then you see sorry is a lot easier to handle and we have an actual tutorial so we don't need that we have the the Exis core the the Exis core uh, the uh, Fox Acid app, and that has like the old UI. It's not that old. Fox Acid, yeah, it's it's only been changed recently. Yeah, but it, it, we we changed it kind of a lot recently. We added some new stuff, but you know, it's basically like it still looks a bit like that. But I do remember the time when Fox Acid was just a terminal. You would write Fox Acid. And you would write like the parameters all of the attack. All in command line. All in command line. And you would launch AC score and it would just load like a fingerprint. And that was pretty much it. It had no special interface. No whatsoever. I think you can still control it from the text like command line. You can at least load it all up. Yeah, you can You can still launch Fox Acid like, if you just launch it. Uh, like that, you, and you you can like still write the, the old, like you can still write the old parameters that the first version of Fox Asset add to like auto complete. I, I always use the parameters because then I could uh, I could tab complete like the URL and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and and you don't need, even need to do that anymore in the new Fox Asset since we have drop down. They did so. the, the drop down menu of everything you have saw as vulnerable, which is really cool. And uh, but and there was one point that every time you would like uh, you you see that little square there. That's like Icons. that that's that was supposed to be a blueprint, and when when you completed an attack, it would fill up a blueprint on the lower screen. And the first version of Fox Acid, you add a like a a menu that you would have like an icon like that. And it didn't work at that time, but it was planned that w when you gain a new, like when you complete a new Fox Acid attack, you would gain like a blueprint like that, and when you would click on it, it would autofill everything. Like, well, oh, cool. yeah, I don't think everything, but I think the, the 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 left part, like the delivery exploit rootkit, and I think that's one thing that we still it's want like the to. Same technology. Exactly, I think that's something we still want to have, um, but. Uh, Let's see when or how will it be done. Uh, we really don't know yet. Such so is life. Yeah, I have a lot of trivia about like this version of the game because that's the first one I really had my hands in, and uh, like I was there since like almost the first version, uh, uh, first version of this build. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I, I can say a lot about this one, and uh, at least. There was a, a time also that O's fingerprint was separated in two modules. There was port scanner, and yep. there was an a, a, was it still was this fingerprint? I don't know, but it was. First you had to um, port scan, and then you had to fingerprint the host, like yeah. the the port that the port scanner saw was open. Yeah, exactly. So you had to fingerprint and then port scan, and. Which was just a huge pain. Exactly, it was... Like, the real tools don't do that, why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> and we just managed, you know, we should add this in one module and then Ostring Your Print was born in its new new flavor, which is the, the, the one still used today. And the my scanner, aircraft, it's still pretty much the same. And Hydro Terminal, it's still... I think it's pretty much... Well, we changed it a bit, we added some things uh, but 
it's, it will it really work in secret missions. Uh, yeah. That that still work in that build. Uh, we had the first version of Men in the Metal, and uh, exploit databases pretty much the same. But let's do. We can look quickly at Men in the Metal since we changed we changed it a bit like recently. But it's like we changed it really recently, so it's not that old yet. But you know, you had this video. I don't think does it even work anymore. I don't think so. I think it's it's been disconnected from the back end. So no, it's not even probably. Yeah. Even, yeah, that's that's what I thought. But yeah, that's what the old version uh, when we only had like one type of attack and. Uh, that was pretty much it. We didn't really rework on that module until like the beta. And we had the old well work that's been done on it. It's good so far. Exactly, and we had the uh, and that's the password attack, which been a long time like that until really recently. And I just want to pinpoint out that background that I don't know why we had that background on this module. Like every other background is like black or like really dark and this one is like a clear background and it always felt off like when you compare it to another it just felt like it's all it's its own thing and and when i uh, like we had to work rework a bit on password attack to introduce the password attack on ash and uh we just like oh we just change the color to, to black and we were like hey it looks better <laughs> we were like, do like we we're thinking should we redo it completely visually and we just change the color and we we're like, well, I think this can do for now. It looks actually like it looks updated just by changing the background color. Go a long way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, I think that's pretty much all the tools we had at that point. We had the satellite, huh. which is has been pretty much the same until like recently well not not that not that bad actually if i if you revisit it quickly that like we changed that recently like you have more of an impulse when you have to do stuff and we changed that but it's more or less the same though it's more or less the same yeah we changed a bit of things and we made that area more interactable more uh, dynamic like you could click on you can click now on this part if you have the VPN to connect automatically and uh, but this has been like rework on the back end a lot since like this was made very quickly for one mission for new stream life so it was made for new stream life and we didn't retouch it until like the beta to make it actually dynamic for other missions so um, we can use it exactly but yeah this is like we just made it really quickly for new stream life to be able to release a new mission um, that was pretty much it for news for uh, the satellite view and uh, well I mind having changed really and um, there's still there but you know before we had that that type that kind of thing to just put random apps that, that didn't exist in the game uh, that yeah. like faction war or this uh, on the upper screen and yeah you can also see how much like this just the desktop has changed how um, now you have an icon you have a player you have more stats of your play and um, all the menu is on the bottom you don't have like it's not like up and down and we had like it was a poor scan but it was also like entity watch list block watchman OSN database Firewall attack, spider net, ACL injection, VOIP and Yeah, just it, we we had a lot of, you know things that we could put in the game and rather than developing the things and then putting it in the game, we decided to create menu entries for it and then make them later. Yeah, exactly. And to a lot of menus. Led to menu overload. <laughs> exactly. And uh, when you look at that like there's a lot of like all those those apps that those modules that are not there 
uh, are those uh, the dark things that we actually thought of that it could be cool to have in the game it's just that we didn't thought of it yet we don't we didn't design it completely yet so that's why it's not there and it's not there yet but maybe one of them will be uh, back or there and the only time would tell and we have this uh, what is this this yeah we had like automation scripting we thought it would be cool like to eventually be able to script some events in game or some automation and uh, I don't know if that ever happened but those are like it's all like ideas that we thought we were cool and we thought we could tease the, the player with them by uh, showing a preview until it's actually made so that was the old version version of the game yeah throwback that's a little throwback and now I'm gonna show I'm just gonna compare it to the the current game that you guys all know which is the current beta <laughs> just to like uh, we saw like the, the progression and now we're leaning towards the current game and as you can see right where we're entering the game it looks a lot better like the interface of the menu screen with the huge logo and the, the, the background it's, uh, it's it feels a lot more complete I mean of course it's not complete yet but it feels more complete we're getting there <laughs> yes exactly and um, we made progress at the very least exactly and as you can see like there, there's an icon you have you you can be a player actually in the game you're not just some random agent you're like you are your <laughs> yourself in the game it's kind of weird to say but like you have your identity in the game which is super cool you can actually like this hasn't changed a bit uh, well this changed a bit but not that much but look at that and, and i remember when we first introduced that the mission center people were really stoked about like Oh, yeah. yeah, it was big doings. Exactly, and we plan to have a like, lot of cool stuff like that coming. And uh, like I said, we always have cool ideas. It's just it's just a matter of time and production. And uh, like, just that overall visual, like it just feels so natural now to be in this interface. Feel like your own OS. It's definitely better than it was. I'll give yeah. you that much. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's not perfect yet, but we're we're getting a lot closer to to what something we, we can. Uh, yeah, something that we can say that this is the final, the final content. But we really close. I mean, this is we're a lot closer than we were. <laughs> yeah, a lot, like by far, and like we added so much things since then. The case file. Uh, the command center, the multiplayer, we added like UXC score, uh, we added mm, a social engineering toolkit, active directory, file browser. Like, I think that's a lot of cool things in this uh, little teaser for like Watchmen players. Yeah. And we, z we have some, like, there's always new stuff coming in, and I'm just. I'm really hyped for what's uh, what the future holds for Night Team 4. And I don't know if there's any questions on your side, Codex. People are asking about new skins. <laughs> oh, new skins. Well, that's that's. People that's want your skin. Sorry, that's that's our skin. That's my personal skin. That's personal skin. It's a developer skin, and uh, yeah, sorry, can't have it. Alex is like, give me your skin! <laughs> no, you can't. I put the phoenix in. <coughs> so... Um, like, as you can see, you have like a secret part. That That's us. Like, we won't, we won't show what's in there. Yeah, it's just dev tools. Yeah, exactly. Not too exciting. There's uh, like a, we have a debug console and cool stuff 
uh, for for the quick testings. But um, yeah, maybe maybe one day, maybe one day we'll get to show it. But not for now. And um, last thing I wanted to showcase, and and I will need the help of Codex once again to know what's uh, to know how to to use it was the. Um, let me show that. Is the first version of Sting OS before even 194. A major throwback. Exactly. And Stinger Terminal. Exactly. And I wanted to show also the first logo of 19.4. Like, does it even <laughs> does it even look a bit like the logo? Yeah, this, right is, this is the old interface uh, tutorial. Exactly. It used to have like a moon logo. It's it's so. I think it, it's kind of. I don't know. It's uh, simple, did you but. The, the B is the logo for Stinger. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's the logo for Stinger? No, no, go, if you see it. Yeah, that is the Stinger. The Stinger OS. It's a B. Sting. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Uh, when you <laughs> when you think about it that way, it's a little b. So I think it's a hornet actually, but yeah, or a wasp, or I don't know. Something that stings me and I don't like it. So, and um, what what do I put in there to just just have a quick overview? We don't want to like go in too deep. Because Just type help and it'll give you like the commands that you can do. Yeah, and you, as you can see, it looks a lot like what we add in um, in the first version of the game in terms of commands internal. It's like it was. I think it was pretty much inspired by by that. So basically, this web browser based base version was sort of the uh, the framework for the initial like pre-alpha version we should assert the stream and that from that we uh we sort of tangent we've got the game we have now yeah, exactly and this is like really all i don't even know oh that's cool like i don't know code extent like Oh, yeah, sorry. It's like Codex sent it to me and I never saw that. <laughs> yeah, because you haven't really played Big Black Watchmen stuff much. I, I, I have played, but I didn't finish it uh, in its entirely. Uh, no shame on me. All like uh, late season 2 stuff. But, uh, yeah, exactly. I haven't been. I didn't, I didn't finish season 2. But, um, yeah. Uh, this is like. I'll try to, like. I know I won't find any answers well, you know uh, probably I have to I can't even like scroll up what is this scroll there's no it's it's very early oh yeah damn it's, it is right I am the worst uh, <laughs> I am the worst you're the worst at hacking congratulations yeah. yes I succeeded uh, <laughs> I'm making congrats you get the award for being the worst hacker <laughs> <laughs> yeah like I'm, I'm making you a hack game. I can't hack for hell, but hey, I'm there. <laughs> but um, <coughs> but you know, every time I like we develop a new feature, it's like I gain more knowledge about how hacks are being made. But I haven't made I haven't a lot on a Linux interface, like I said earlier. So I. And Singer started out as sort of, sort of a Unix-based, like. OS. Realistic-ish hacker, not even an OS, because the yeah, it was Stinger just like was a framework yeah. originally. Yeah, that's right. It evolved into the Stinger OS. And like as you can see, like it changed a lot since then, and it's just cool that it's still there. Well, I think it, well this one is still there because of Black Watchmen, but. If you guys want to play with it, um, it's in Black Watchmen Season 2. I think the first mission that uses it is Mission 19. So it's pretty late into Season 2, but... Taste of... 
you can, the origins yeah, of well, the Stinger OS. Well, you can always go to stinger.blackwatchman.com. It's, it's already there, but if you want to know what to do with it, you have to, you have to do the mission in Black Watchmen. But uh, just cool to know it's there and we have like remnants of the past. And uh, I think that we do, uh, I think that Codex and I do love keeping like older things and just looking back at them eventually you'll be like, whoa, look at how that was before. And it's always cool. I, I was telling this to Patrice the other day, I'm sort of a digital hoarder, I just keep everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, <laughs> w which is not a bad thing because then we can show all those cool stuff that like we add uh, we made before. Like, it's cool to you know keep track of everything. And but it's sort of it's it's good to sort of look back on where you came from and where you're at now. It says to use. Oh, st oh it doesn't it doesn't have autocomplete either. Oh. But it does support copy paste, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I think it does. Yeah, it's like regular text. Oh, uh, can I? No, I can't. Uh, oh no, I can't. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> um, oh, what? we're in basket. Oh, why? Why does it do that? Like I. Wow. Okay. <laughs> like it just. What is it? It just. I don't know. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's that. I like. I don't know. I tried to copy paste it, and I don't know if it's like my computer is too fast, or I don't know. But like, uh, sometimes it copies it. Like, it, it did it twice. It's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's like a pre pre alpha version of Sting OS, and uh, that's pretty much it for this week. And uh, we just wanted to like have a true back Thursday with you guys just to see how like things have changed since then and uh, maybe to show people that didn't have the occasion to play the first alpha of the game to see what it was what it looked like when you were actually playing it and, um, that's a chance to walk down memory lane as well <laughs> exactly nice. Ma maybe one day we'll do a complete run of the first alpha and maybe like show what, how the actual strike team was made because I think that when you got there uh, you would have the like the first iteration of the planet in 19.4 and the actual 19.4 there I, I think I, I'm not really sure but I, I know there was like a planet and I think it's like similar to what we have right now so uh, I, th I hope you guys like uh, this tw uh, Twitch this week it was more like of an entertaining Twitch let's say and more like a like memory uh, like nostalgia. More of a, just a just a chat twitch. Yeah, exactly. More of a nostalgia thread. Uh, but I hope that you guys still liked it. I hope that you guys uh, will stay tuned for uh, our next switch as usual. And uh, did you have any more questions uh, on your side, uh, Codex? I think so. I mean, if anyone's got you know more questions to ask either of us, you can always get a hold of us in the Discord. Cool. So, um, well, and then uh, I would say that thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next week. We'll probably have more cool stuff to show you. And then, and uh, until then, have a good weekend. Closing route access. Goodbye.